Good evening and happy new year everyone. Today's video is gonna be the first video of the year and with that in mind I'm actually gonna take a small detour from my uh, main account, the one I'm usually uh, recording from and uh, go a bit back to uh, my first account here in Affinity Kingdom. And the reason for that being is that despite I'm not playing on it actively, I still log in almost daily. And that is just to uh, do some alliance contributions uh, in order to get us some of these, um, uh, what are they called? The alliance coins. Uh, yeah, exactly. And uh, it's basically just to allow me to uh, slowly purchase these space portals. And the reason for that being is that I intend to keep utilizing this a bit matured account I have and move it onto my main account. And uh, this simply just uh, allows me to, you know, use it as a somewhat a farm account, perhaps utilize its strength in uh, some aspects of the game as well. Um, but nevertheless, it's just uh, utilizing this opportunity the space portal gives us to kind of give birth to one of our rebirth to one of our old accounts. So today's video, I'm just going to take you through like tips and tricks, what you should uh, be considering uh, if you have an old account and also why maybe you should be doing it. And also, of course, reasons for actually not doing this. So just to start out, um, then I am still located in the uh, first season. So it's uh, I'm in season three right now. Um, so I haven't moved into the Conquest service despite my original server. Um, I believe it was server 203 I actually started out on. And you can see this server is in Conquest. Um, I quite early on uh, took a jump over to 211. Have been playing here for a long time. And basically slowly the our server at least died out. And we were kind of left with a decision to merge together with another server. What uh, I decided to do, however, was actually rather than using my account and move it on to a much more active account, I instead started to start over because this had been my very first account and I just learned so much for the first yeah, three or four months of uh, playing the game that I decided to start over instead and just apply all the knowledge that I had gained in, you know, getting off from the right foot and be competitive already in season one and all these things. So if you've been following from the start, that's why I decided to create this Jumper account, developing an account for even uh, three months. Meanwhile, I was playing here in 2.11. Um, so yeah, just to really create this really nice account to get off on the right foot, be competitive. And that's the one you see me currently playing. However, I do still have this account here in now server 227. And I did jump to 227 and that was really because I wanted to stay here in season two and three. And the reason for that is that it's one of the kind of gatekeepers we have. When we want to uh, migrate to other servers, it's kind of grouped into different divisions. So you can see here that uh, if we wanted to re relocate now, there is a set of different requirements. And uh, the first red cross you can read is that we can only move to season two and season three that are not at war. So this is just the first uh, thing you should have in mind. It is um, once you move into season two, you are basically stuck at a minimum season two, you can easily move uh, kind of forwards onto season three or conquest server. But usually I wouldn't advise on this. Basically, you will just put yourself in quite a troublesome situation. You will be a much weaker account. But it is still a uh, possibility if you're sitting, finding yourself at a dead server and you're really just looking for more activity. Then moving forward, there are some super servers that are very, very active. So for instance, if you were sitting in season two or season three here and just looking for the most active server, it would be uh, a bit difficult to figure out maybe, but you can always read on the uh, like the kingdom power here and kind of get a sense of how strong they are. So you can compare that uh, this server I'm on, that the Rustland kingdom is quite strong. It's a one faction server, but it's also uh, getting a little uh, daring to do these things. I would definitely recommend scouting them first because the server I'm finding myself on, this is a kind of sleeping server in a sense. 
Um, so if you take a look at me, so I am, as you can see, I don't even have any build queues going on. So I'm really not active. Um, and if you check a look at the ranking, the reason why our power is so strong is that there's quite a few of us who are kind of inactively just sitting here. So you see, there's a guy here uh, who is clearly very powerful, but his uh, immortals are very low leveled and uh, hence his uh, peak true power is very low. Um, but you have a guy like Oxenta who is a really strong account. Dimitri here is uh, getting his talent built up. So yeah, always uh, scout these a bit senior account to make sure that this is an active server. Uh, that's super important. <clears throat> um, and then the next thing that I want to cover it is once you find it, it's also important to maybe discuss a little with yourself, like what kind of server are you looking for? So you can, I'm going to try to take you through probably the strongest server in season two and three, and that's server 233. So this has been become kind of the hub for uh, mature accounts to this is just the server that is here to be competitive right now. Um, so if you just quickly noted that, I think my strongest troop power was at 250,000 and then compare that to these guys here. So we have the strongest player Eagle here. He's a KS model. He should be in Conquest for sure. Like, I am pretty confident he's finished up. He can't progress anything anywhere. But if you just go down this server, like it's so active, it's full of all the active players from servers uh, two, three, and even yeah, some of the conquest servers as well that uh, evaded that. So you can see, I wouldn't even be in top hundred here, despite my account being uh, from server two. It started out two hundred and three, jumped to two eleven. Um, so yeah, sure, I could probably be in top hundred had I stayed active on it, but still, this is really an active active server and is this what i would be looking for to just uh i mean there won't be any uh, kvk competition here this server will run over anybody who's dancing their way so for me this would more be a server to join in order to compete in conquest so say i wanted to stay in servers two three and develop and be competitive i wouldn't necessarily pick this server either despite being the strongest one um so yeah have that in mind as well that some of these servers are just like mega servers super strong but yeah once you have decided to maybe uh, stay in a server or something like that uh, you definitely need to uh, start uh, strategizing your account towards how do you either play it with while maintaining a low power because as you probably know by now there has been quite a lot of uh, guides around this, uh, how much uh, power you need and whatnot to jump, um, then it is dependent on your uh, total account power. As you can see in this case, I only need three space portals on this account, and that's because my peak true power is within the 500 to 599k uh, power bracket. So yeah, definitely uh, think long term if you are considering uh, considering jumping um, because this is really really important as it's not that easy to uh, get your hands on space portals meanwhile uh, one of the more effective ways to gain them limits uh, really your availability like your yeah opportunities to play um, so yeah I will probably cover uh, these in another video, just uh, tips and tricks how to stay within these brackets. Um, so yeah, like and subscribe and just uh, follow along in another video uh, where I will take you through what I have done on uh, my other account to stay within these uh, power limits and yeah, what you can do to still actively play the game while preparing yourself for jumping in the future. So yeah. See you around, guys. Bye-bye.